holy shit after months after months and months and months after disappointment after disappointment after disappointment i can finally say the following Mexico, ya se armó. Mexico, ya se armó. Mexico, ya se armó. This shit is nothing what the fucking picture, the preview, I guess, of what this map's supposed to look like. Where the fuck is that orange bridge? Why the fuck does this look like actual Detroit, Michigan? Holy shit, that thing fucking drives, bro. You better come back here, bro. You better let me whip that hoe. Okay, so by the time this video is uploaded, a few days ago, the Mexican national team for soccer finally won a game after so long of just delivering disappointment after disappointment after disappointment this is why i'm 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 a little bit happy not not too happy but if we would have lost the video would have been definitely different bro the, the video would have would have went along the lines of man what the fuck i thought mexicans could play soccer what the fuck these motherfuckers are useless these motherfuckers are better at hopping the border than they are playing the fucking game what the fuck is this shit i paid for the wrong mexicans what the fuck you gotta understand my frustration okay I'm a big fan, okay? Not not a big fan, okay? I won't say a big fan, especially not as of recent. But I am a fan of La Selección Mexicana, okay? I love watching Mexico play soccer, okay? Because I, I really do take quite a bit of pride in that shit. I really do get fucking upset when we lose. It's, it, it just pisses me off. Now, I will say this. It's not really the player's fault, however it is at the same time. But ultimately, when you hear about what goes on with the corporation decisions and all that shit, it's just like, bro, why in the fuck are corporate heads making the decision to literally decide who's gonna pluck in, who's gonna fucking play the game, or who's gonna be the manager, who's gonna be the coach, and this and that? Like those fucking AC, you know, sitting in their offices and all that shit. Those motherfuckers have no right to dictate shit. Those motherfuckers, all they can dictate. Is literally what donuts they're gonna buy from the local fucking donut shop. They can suck my ass. I mean, you guys also gotta realize, like, I was also being just... I was so disappointed in, you know, supporting the national team to the point where I just had to just go ahead and roll with it and say, fuck it, yeah, I am Korean and shit, because that's what people really see me as, is just like a Korean person, even though I'm actually Mexican-American. I, I, I might have a little bit of Korean in me, but with the amount of disappointment, I was like, fuck it, yeah, I am Korean, bro, so I don't have to support this fucking sorry-ass team, bro. Like, that's how bad it got. They fucking called me the Chinito because I let them at this point, because that's how fucking disappointing the game was to me. That's how disappointing the team was. And I was just like, fuck it, yeah, I'm El Chinito, whatever, but I'm, I'm just... Like, I I'm hiding from the disappointment, bro. I'm just, I just can't take it anymore. Holy fucking shit. I can't believe I missed this motherfucker. That is fucking crazy. Look, I love my Mexican national team. I really do. The problem is the amount of disappointment that us, the fans, have faced over the last few years from this team. Ever since, okay, and I kind of do believe this, but I kind of don't. But ever since that fucking logo was switched to this monstrosity, I can actually kind of see how things just are not panning out the way that we were hoping for. I mean, yeah, the new logo really has nothing to do with anything, but it's kind of seeming like that more and more every fucking day. Man, I forgot how dumb the AI is in this game, because holy fuck, bro, these motherfuckers are not picking up. There's literally stairs. There's literally stairs down that way. Why the fuck would these motherfuckers not pick me up? Like I said, this video would have been hella different if we lost against the fucking US, but somehow we pulled it out of our asses and went 2-0 against them. But here's the thing. A few days, or I think it was the day before, no, it was definitely a few days. A few days before that match, Mexico uh, went against Valencia, and again, we fucking went 2-2. Two and two. I really did not have any hope for the team once we fucking tied it up with those fucking people, once we got tied up with them. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? Like, how do you expect me to have any faith whenever we're losing against Valencia? Like, what the fuck, dude? Like I mentioned, if they would have lost against the U.S., this video would have been hella different. I would have been like... Start deporting all these fucking Mexicans right here. Yeah, on this fucking field right here. I don't want them ever again in the fucking country. Leave them down where they fucking belong. In the fucking Mexico, man. Because these motherfuckers have no idea how to fucking play the soccer. How the fuck does a white boy know better than them at playing soccer? What the fuck? Here's the thing, though, to take away from the match, okay? Even though Mexico won 
I can't deny it, we, well, not we, but the United States did not have their best starting lineup. Like, they only had a few of their good players on the starting lineup. They did not have all the best ones. So, I can't really necessarily be the most happiest whenever shit like that is popping off. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, I'm getting tired. I know a lot of fans have been speaking out that there's just even players that do not belong on the fucking squad one bit, man. And it makes sense. Like, it just... How the fuck are you gonna not be mad? How the fuck are you not gonna be mad at the fact that the team is picking up players that just have no fucking use to the squad? Like, how the fuck did we get to this point, dude? At this point, they're fucking letting anybody in on the fucking field, bro. Especially Mexico. Like, bro, you know what? Fucking, I'll go and email them motherfuckers right now. Put me in, coach. I'll put on the jersey. I can fucking do this, you know? If I got to, I'll kick the ball right into someone's stomach like it did in fucking junior high. Holy shit. That just opened up a poor memory, man. I remember when I was playing soccer in junior high i literally was panicking we were we were fucking um playing against uh, another town another uh, uh marshall we were playing against marshall and next thing you fucking know i was panicking and i decided to kick the fucking ball as hard as i could to try to get it out of the fucking uh uh, I can't even remember what the fuck it was around. It was around the goalie box. Like, it was getting to the fucking goalpost, okay? And I was like, fuck this shit. And I kicked it, and I kicked it right into a poor girl's stomach. And it took every, and I mean every ounce of air out of her fucking stomach, bro. She went something like this. Now open the door. People were telling me when I kicked that fucking ball, if that would have been one of our buddies that we were kind of close with, um who has asthma if i would have kicked that ball right into that dude's stomach there was a good chance i would have possibly killed him now thankfully for that girl thankfully she made it out alive she fucking got her breath back and all that and um to be honest with you i felt hella bad i felt severely bad for that shit like i i felt really bad for that girl i mean that's the kind of memory that keeps you up at night because of how fucked up it is it's just so bad dude it's just so bad bad but i had to do what i had to do bro someone's got to get clipped someone's got to get fucking clipped man no matter what soccer field football field fucking baseball field i don't give a fuck bro someone's gonna get clipped i'm not gonna let you fucking score on me bitch you got me fucked up the damn on god i don't care if it's your daughter i don't care if it's your son i don't care if it's your grandmama your grandpapa i don't give a fuck your mother your father i'm not letting them motherfuckers score on me bro if i gotta fucking kill kick that fucking ball right into their goddamn lungs right into their goddamn dick into their goddamn pussy i will fucking do it bro i don't give a fuck if i gotta punch your little brother across the fucking city i will brother i will do whatever it takes to defend what's mine brother now i understand why trump fucking hates us bro holy fuck donald trump was like they're not bringing their best they're bringing their worst they're bringing the fucking the coochie chasers they're bringing in the fucking people that uh taking the jobs and this and that they're taking they're fucking taking away the jobs they're taking away the taxes they're taking all the way all that shit and that might be true donald trump that might be true but guess what motherfucker the job's getting done sir the job is getting done all i care about with la selección mexicana especially in the next few years especially with the world cup right around the corner i just pray that we have an actual team built by the time that shit happens because here's the thing when that shit comes around i just hope we actually make it to the fucking brackets okay i hope we make it to group play in the first place because there's a good chance with the squad that we have we ain't making shit and when that happens i'm gonna be the first medicus again to fucking say to those motherfuckers deport them all deport them all i don't give a fuck about them deport them all i'm gonna turn into that big orange oompa loompa looking motherfucker and shit like that because the disappointment i just can't fucking handle it i just i, I just don't get it man i i don't want corporate motherfuckers making decisions on teams like this man i care about the team too much and if i gotta keep them down where they belong then fuck it i gotta do it i gotta do what's best for my people you know what i mean we we just we already have a lot of diabetes we don't need fucking high blood pressure now what the fuck is wrong with you regardless of what happened i'm still happy i'm still very very you know proud of the fact that we won against the united states 2-0 but again we can't forget it as fans these motherfuckers have been disappointing us over and over and over again. It's just been non-stop disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. Now, again, it's not really too much of the player's fault because, I mean, at the same time, they're given the tools, which the tools are them themselves, okay? And with that being said, at the same time, okay, um, 
they also are paired up with some of the worst players out there. I mean, there's literally players on the Mexican team that are just fucking useless. They're playing the whole fucking uh, game and not doing jack shit. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Like, why are we... Why, why do we have these... And it's even wilder because they're young players. Some of these, like, they're, they're, I can't remember. I think his name is Charlie. He is, like, 27 Some I, I think he's 27. Wow. There's a dude named Charlie. He's, like, 27 years old, I believe. And just somehow, some way, he's not doing jack shit to contribute to the success of the team. He's not doing fucking anything. He's literally doing fuck all, mate. Now, I have, I have no problem picking up young players. That's what we're looking for because the OG team is retiring. Ochoa is, is out of the game. Herrera is out of the game. Chicharito is uh, out of the team in general. He's almost out of the game, too. I mean, he's, he's close to retiring. And they haven't called that guy up in so many years. And, um... Who was it? Who was it that just retired? What was it? Um, it, oh, man, I can't even remember his fucking name. I'm not gonna say it. I, I fucking forgot. You know, I do. I do know these names, but I'm tired as fuck right now. I'm forgetting a lot of people's names right now. But those guys, they're out. They're gone. They're not. They're they're no longer. You know, um, not necessarily useless, but they're no longer really useful to us. I mean, they're growing old. Their bodies are not the same as they were when they were younger. Why the fuck are the young players just not hungry enough for it? Like, it, it just sucks because it's like these guys that we have grew up with, you know, with Ochoa, Herrera, Chicharito, and a, and a bunch of the other players that I can't fucking remember. Their time has come, you know? They're no longer the same. They're not, you know, the same. They're, they're not young, you know? And you got these young players that just can't do shit. Like a 27-something, 20-something-year-old fucking, you know, cat. You just can't fucking do it. Like, what the fuck? This fucking, this dude on this team just, I, I've seen a lot of people hating on this guy and I'm not trying to be super fucking hateful because I know he's probably already like disappointed in himself for doing this shit. But at the same time, it's like, dude, if you can't fucking hack it, we don't need you on the team right now. You need to get the fuck out. That's the one dude I could definitely say, I don't want him in the country. Deport his ass. Keep him away from the fucking border. I don't want him over here. Someone, uh, there was a few um, people that do watch the game hardcore and they straight up said, it's probably best that the... Uh, Selección Mexicana decides to stay in Mexico like they, it's probably best that they keep home games at home okay uh, instead of the United States because a lot of the times I and I kind of and I understand this I know exactly what they mean I mean I'm one of the many fans that's hardcore about it I really do not want to see this team over here in the United States and we're not fucking winning okay I do not care you need to stay over there in Mexico and fucking win some games there because I feel like if you let down the fans over there They'll let you know straight up, like, what the fuck did I just witness? These fucking Mexicans, esta raza pendeja no me está haciendo favores, wey. Ya tengo el diabetes y ahora me quieren dar pinche presión bien alta, wey. No mames. And it's fucking true, man. Like, I, I just, when I saw them get tied up with fucking Valencia, I, I, I didn't even watch that game. So I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that Mexico was probably like one, like one and zero, maybe two and oh. And probably Valencia came back with a two and two, like... That's what I'm assuming fucking happened. I didn't watch the game, you know, and I'm not even going to bother because I just could already see what exactly fucking happened, okay? But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But at the same time, it's like, bro, it's just I'm tired of it. I just don't want any more disappointment. I really hope that very soon the uh, the team just gets their shit together in time for the World Cup because at the same time, that shit's coming up and before you know it, it's fucking too late and we can't make any changes, bro. Like, what the fuck? If we don't make it to group play for the fucking World Cup, I'm actually going to be so fucking upset. I'm not even going to worry about the World Cup, bro. I'm not even joking. I'm not even going to worry about the World Cup. Now, I will say this. For the sake of the U.S. team, I will say this. I probably still will be watching at least the U.S. team play. Because obviously, I'm Mexican-American. I love the United States still to this. Like, I, I love it no matter what. It's a love-hate relationship, though. It's a love-hate relationship with her. I love her, but I also hate her. Um, just a lot of problems, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we keep having arguments, you know what I'm saying? But we keep getting back together, you know? She beats the shit out of me. I beat the shit out of her, you know what I mean? But I always love her, you know? Especially on 4th of July, I'd be celebrating her birthday and shit. I'd be, I'd be buying all the best fireworks for her and shit like that to make sure she gets a nice show for the night, you feel me? I, I love, I love my red, white, and blue, you know? She, she never, she never truly disappoints me. Uh, but as of late, um, she ain't been cooking right lately, so that bitch is fucking trash. But... I am happy for the U.S. national team still. They have a great lineup. Um, and I can't deny it. I mean, this, uh, you know, most recent game between the two giants, Mexico and U.S., 
I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, we just, I feel like we got a little bit lucky, especially since, um, you know, their their best starting players just weren't there. Their best players were not truly there. You know what I mean? And it's just, I feel like we got lucky. I feel like we got lucky. And it, what also I, I feel like helped us is the fact that we were in Mexico. That I feel like helped us big time. We were in fucking what, uh, Guadalajara, I think it was. I think, I can't remember the fucking, uh, no, Estadio Akron, I think. Estadio uh, Akron, but we were over there and shit. Dude, I'm so fucking, like, I'm bilingual, but I, I just, I get tripped up on my own shit, bro. I'm so sorry. Like, like I said, I, w I was claiming the title being Chinito. I was claiming the title being co Korean for a while there because I was just so disappointed with the team. But now I'm disappointing my Mexican people, bro. Like, what the fuck? I'm about to get excluded from all the Garnet Salas, bro. It's about to go crazy. I'm about to get fucking, you know... Deported by my own people, bro. It's fucking crazy. Uh, like I said, I just hope that by the time uh, the World Cup comes around, we have a good team that we're playing at 100. And we just don't have these fucking little small hiccups. Like fucking letting players that are useless playing a full fucking game leading up to that moment. I just, I can't take it anymore, man. I'm just tired of it. I really just, I, I lost faith in the team a long time ago. I just haven't been keeping up too much. I mean, the US, uh, the US game and all that shit. I mean, that was the only fucking thing that really just told me, okay, well, let's watch it and hope to God that these motherfuckers aren't a disappointment. And thankfully this time around, even though they didn't have their best players, at least something came above it. You know, something came from it this time around. Anyways, Mexico 2-0. Couldn't be more happier. Well, I guess I could be a little bit more happier. If it was their best players that we won against, then I would be a little bit more happier. But regardless, we won. Fuck y'all. I love y'all. Take care. We'll see you guys in the next one.